Yo boys, it is DJ Alex Pirate here, and today we got a combined video with the head mount, so yeah, I don't want to be out here too long because like fleas and shit and ticks and wow, look, cool area and shit, epic. So we got the Poseidon and we got the Pit Viper, but let's start off with uh We'll start with the Poseidon. So, this is straight up just an alt rep with like full length titanium spacers. Because it's a little more ass heavy than an alt rep. Which I have right here. Alt rep. So, these guys are very similar in flippability um, this is definitely more ass weight that's why I say full length titanium um, still fans good does every trick you want it to it's grippy sounds good flips good looks good um, in terms of it compared to a rep it really is just that bit more ass weight. And like besides that, it it just feels like a rep. Um, my ultra rep has like these shitty scales on it, so the thickness is a bit off. That's why I brought the standard Tanto so we can properly compare the thicknesses, which I can do a lot better now because I got the head mount. So. Which, by the way, let me know. Let me know if you guys like the uh, the head mount. So, so these two, all right? The Poseidon is like about the same, maybe a teeny tiny tad bit thicker, but not by much. Holy shit! There are so many fucking bugs. I'm getting chewed alive already. What is this? <laughs> Um, all right, let's speed run this video then. Basically, it is very good. This thing flip very good. Uh, very handle bias. Well, not very, but it is handle bias, especially compared to an alt rep, which is like dead neutral. The Poseidon is more handle bias than a standard alt rep. But if you have an alt rep and you have full length titanium spacers, you know, like where they go to the end and they don't have space for a latch. Then this flips the exact same. And you already know how Poseidon flips then. <laughs> this thing is very good. I'm a big fan of it. I'm going to be getting a lot of mod work done to it. Um, so when I do all that, it'll be exciting. And I'll make sure to do a video when I get all the mod work on this guy done. But as for now, it is bone stock. It is very good. I flip this thing all the time. I'm a big fan of it. It has no oil in it right now, so the sound test I'm going to do isn't going to be super accurate because I still don't have fucking oil. Um, but I got oil coming soon because I got a sponsor for my Instagram. Um, so that's cool. Um, but yeah. So sound test on this guy. So yeah, it sounds exactly like a dry rep, so, which is expected, so, yeah. This thing is very good though, I'm a big fan of it, um, as I said, I flip it all the time. I don't really have a whole lot to say about this thing, to be honest, because it's not like the best thing ever, it's not like it's groundbreaking for the market or anything, like $200 for this thing is very similar to the Rebola, except this is just a better Rebola or Rebola. Sorry, I know people are going to be like, oh, it's a Rebola. So, yeah, it's a better Rebola. Um, 
better balance, not as thick, not uncomfortable to flip, unlike the Rebola, which is very uncomfortable and not fun to flip. So, yeah. But this is good. Uh, if you're looking for like a rep, but you don't want to spend the price of a rep, especially with secondary prices of replicants right now, like stock ones go for like 320, 330. So, if you want like a replicant, specifically an alt and you want a little more handle bias than that, uh, get one of these. These are very good. They come with tap, but it's not like super bad. So, also, uh, one other, th two other things before we flip to the Pit Viper. First of all, the blade does rust. I'm in Georgia, and this shit is still getting some specks of rust. I don't know how well you can see it. I can't exactly see my camera that well, but it is rusting. And then the other thing about the blade is it is not sharp. They come unsharpened due to something about legality in China, shipping live blades. So, whatever, I don't care. Uh, let's go to the Pit Viper. The only reason I'm even forcing myself to make this video is because this was lent to me and I have to get this video done before Friday. So I have to ship it back out because this is not mine. This is f here for me for to review. So, yeah. Uh, this thing, ah, I mean, I want to like it. I really do. I really like Fellowship. He's an awesome guy. You know, the Medusa looks really, really, really fucking good, and I really want one. But I'm sorry, man, but this balance is just not it. Like, yeah, you can flip it. It's not like it's unflippable. Ooh. But it's just not balanced very well. The balance is a little off. Um, it's that whole thing about weight distribution. Um, between the blade shape being a leaf shape, so it doesn't have a lot towards the tip here, and the other thing being that there's a whole chunk of material towards the base, towards the pivots, and all of this is hollowed out. Um, I'm assuming the Tanto Trainer flips better, but I don't know. This just isn't it. I really like the handles of the Pit Viper. They're very comfy. They're very fun to flip. But the blade just kind of fucking ruins it, honestly. Um, I want the Tanto just because I like the Pit Viper blade, or the Pit Viper handles. Like, the handles, they're just fun and they feel really good in the hands. They have a lot of things about them that are just not necessary in terms of design. So, it's not a huge deal, fuck. First drop. Um, but like, these things are good. They, they get the job done. They're just not, my problem is they're not as good as they could be. They could be better. And especially for the price that these go for, I expect more, to be honest with you. Sound is okay. So, they're fine. The sound is a little muted. It's not, like, very characteristic or, like, super unique in terms of sound. Um, the balance is unique, but, like, in a bad way. It's slight handle bias with, like, that bad weight distribution feeling. So fanning is a little weird. Rollovers are a little weird. Everything is a little weird. A little wonky, if you will. Um... It's like the Falcon balance, like the Live Blade, but not as bad. But, like, it's not good either. So, I don't know. I would not buy one of these, personally. 
but I wouldn't dissuade you from getting one because the quality is there. He makes a quality product. This shit definitely lasts. You know what I mean? Like it, it definitely is built like a tank. Like I wouldn't really, if it was my knife, I wouldn't wince at throwing it at concrete because I know it will live. So I don't know. I just wouldn't get one. I think there are better things for cheaper, such as the Poseidon. I think the Poseidon is just better. Um, it has that same kind of handle bias, but doesn't have the bad weight distribution for fanning. So, and it's cheaper. So, fuck. But yeah, I don't know. That's just my take. Um, this is just a cheap rep. Shut the fuck up. Nobody wants to hear it. Nobody will ever want to hear it. Is good. And the Pit Viper is just a live blade falcon with not as bad weight distribution, with infinitely better materials and better build quality. So, yeah. That's just my take. I think these are still good. I don't dislike the maker. Grant is an awesome dude. He makes great shit. Uh, the Medusa has me very excited, by the way. I really do want to get one, but I don't have money right now. So yeah, that's about it for me, boys. Um, this is gonna come out before the Zephyr clone and Arctic clone video. I might not even release that video as it came out really fucking bad. Um, but let me know. If you guys want to see it that bad, I'll try and salvage it, but it's not a very good video. So, let me know. Um, also, let me know if you guys like the head mount camera. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you want to see the Zephyr video, even though it's dog shit. If you like the head mount, or if I should go back to just holding my phone. And yeah, that's about it for me, boys. Sorry for the short video, but I'm not trying to get ticks out here, and I'm not trying to waste time. Because, honestly, there was interest in these two, but there wasn't enough for me to really be like, hey, I'm gonna make a full dedicated video for each. So, yeah. See you boys later. Have a good one. Fuck, man, I hate doing YouTube. Yo, boys, so it's fucking closet hour. Get it? I'm in the closet because I'm gay. Ha 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 ha. Get it? Gay Joe, gay Joe. Closet, 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 gay. Oh, fuck. Um, so today's Friday. I'm supposed to be shipping this guy out. Uh, and I was re watching the video and I realized I didn't show off tolerances because I'm absolutely fucking retarded. How tall are you? Yogurt. Um,. So yeah, now we get closet cam of looking at the, the tolerances of the Pit Viper and the beside everything is a fucking mess. Look, I'm a furry. <laughs> so, uh, tap on the Pit Viper. There's a little bit, little bit of tap. And then here's play. Minimal play. Again, uh, just a TLDR. I do like this. I think it's a good knife, but the balance is not there, and it's not really worth it for the price comparative to what else you can get. So, yeah. Just want to make sure that was very clear, because I know I kind of ramble quite a lot in the video. Um, same for the Poseidon, is I know I keep making the same points over and over again, and I just kind of ramble. So, sorry about that. Uh, and then, Poseidon. tap machine. I still don't have oil, so can't give a proper sound test still. Here's play. So, uh, I'm sending this guy out today to get tuned so that there's no more tap and shit. And then I should be getting my sponsor oil soon. So that's also cool. Um, if you guys remember my original V1, the one rep clone, I'm getting the the blade and I'm having it rehandled. So it's gonna have a custom titanium rehandle, so that's gonna be exciting. And then I might be getting the TAC 2 clone next week. 
I have the hybrid rep clone coming next week. And I have the Valley Plus Chab coming next week. So. Yeah, there's shit coming. So that's cool. Thanks, guys. By the way, here's my dog. Look at her. Hi, Stoop. Look how pretty. Look how pretty you are. Look how pretty. Look how pretty. You're so pretty. This is my dog. Her name's Lady, but I call her Stoop. I call her Stoop, as in stupid, because she's not smart. She's really dumb. Yeah, you are. You're really stupid. But I love her. She's really cute. She's a Corgi and Black Lab mix. I figured you guys like dogs, I think. Right. You think they like dogs? Do you think they like dogs? You think they're more cat people? Yeah. I could see it. They're very edgy people. They listen to Suicide Boys. I know, isn't that cringe? I agree. <laughs> Thanks.